rest, right? Mm hmm. Getting murdered out here. You can, I need a... you can go for Galena, but Pepco pick it later on Molten Pulse. So, where are you starting, Rob? I'm uh, on Pepco. Round begins okay. Three, Have fun. Two, one. You don't Fight. know what honorable means. So, Pepco kind of spawned out of nowhere. And uh, he's spreading to, uh, towards that uh, Mega, but he was already challenged by that uh, Athena. Agent uh, took first hook for Railgun and tried to do some damage over there. And now without that rail, wow, wow. What, a, what a hook. <laughs> yeah, but the rocket from Pepka was also amazing. It is, it is not enough to walk away with the frag. Wow, uh, Agent still had so much stack left. Uh, he took a, a full on hondo, right? Yep. It was like 60 or 70 uh, splash, I think. Mm. Oh, so again, not that much. Wow, yeah. what a rails. What a rails from Agent. And that uh, initial aggression kind of paid off, but now uh, with that uh, hook, it was easy kill for Pepco to get back into the game. Luckily for him, he was able to grab that uh, shield on Banana and tie this game and with a second shield he's kind of uh, set up for uh, next uh, cycle on the items there is quite a gap between both of them so if Pepco managed to steal that uh, mega and especially with that rail uh, agent is under pressure and he will never uh, run away yeah so much Pepco is now. like th this is uh... such a uh, like uh, Nyx shines in control and <laughs> and with the, the invis. Yeah, and it's same it's same uh, with Athena, but uh, Pepco uh, kind of stabilized the situation from start of the uh, the M6, and now he's pushing it. But too much rails. But uh, luckily for him, that the invisibility saved his ass over there, because uh, otherwise uh, he would definitely receive uh, some. Uh, Rockets into face or shotgun, maybe. But it's easy when you can uh, go to uh, another dimension. Yeah, and, uh, and like uh, an agent uh, did enough for to at least uh, enter the rotation again uh, with the heavy. Yeah, th uh, th there was great move to uh, somehow put those major items together. So now both players need to decide it where the next fight will happen for them or if they uh, no. just guard that part of arena <laughs> the aggressive Again, that move. invisibility but agent is trying to find him he yeah. deals some damage on that uh, rocket launcher but now uh, it seems that both players will go to uh, opposite corners of uh, blood covenant yeah i don't think like but that mega like, is still up yeah like but why didn't agent go uh, to the bridge and rain some rockets down like if you go to that heavy, you, you are. It, it's a bit of a dangerous place to be in. That's true. And he also didn't go to the mega health right away, so he was a bit, uh, yeah, caught between a, yeah, between a decision. He does get the heavy now? That's a nice play. Yeah, because now with that uh, bit bigger stack, he feel kind of uh, ready. But those hooks are crazy. But uh, Pepco will be able to pick up that mega health. Again, thanks to invisibility, he survived over there. And he's trying to find those time shards to get that cooldown. But uh, the trail from up above will seal the deal and tie this game. And Agent have a pretty nice uh, circle on the major items right now. So I think that if he put uh, some pressure on mega, he should be able to grab it is trying to do some uh, damage with rocket launcher but agent is going directly after him lg to rail and uh, pepco need to run away agent is saved by that mega those light champions are so squishy that uh, after that exchange there wasn't much uh, health left for agent agent is uh, starting to hit like the uh, last match uh, we saw uh, the, the first map he didn't really uh, hit that much but it looks like uh, he has overcome it, uh, this problem uh, for today at least. And that this is like second cycle for him in control, and he's in full overstack. So 
he can use that grapples to basically chase Nyx. Yeah, it's also nice um, that you can deny a lot of time falls with Athena. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a racket. And Pepco can challenge because he's raidable. So another free mega health. Nice rail from uh, from that uh, curve. But uh, Asian will get his answer. But another splash from Racket. But somehow that Athena will survive. And Pepco is crippled again. And nice read from Agent. Pepco forced to use that uh, ghost walk. Nice but shot. he won't run away. What a rail. Yeah. Nice flyby. Tank. Stop watching. And a lot of those rails from uh, Agent are from that flybys. I mean, it's like obvious position for Athena to be flying around. <laughs> Russian style rocket jump. <laughs> <laughs> it's tactical, isn't it? Like to confuse your enemy and then go the other right, way around. Yeah, and most situation is uh, if you confuse yourself in that position. <laughs> but still, Agent is uh, managing that uh, major items and arena perfectly. We didn't see Pepco on major item for quite a long time. Finally, he's trying to hit some rails. But the agent is really swift on those decisions and uh, covering uh, that uh, angles where uh, Pepko was seen last time. Again, the drive by. Oh. If this gets popped, yeah, it's needed. Pepko is still available. Oh, gets the light. Is he able to hit something? No. But he also doesn't get hit himself. And, and I. Yeah. I I think he, he has to put more pressure. Like if he if he isn't doing it before the heavy pickup, he can do it after. So there is a little bit uh, less delay between the items. Maybe he can enter the rotation at some point by delaying agent at least uh, for uh, yeah one of the major items. Uh. Finally, Pepco feel that he have enough stack, but that, is, that was Spanish, but but the uh, rail, and now Agent is back in uh, chase mode. Those ammo boxes will help with cooldowns as well for Athena. Sometimes I kind of feel that uh, you should uh, just, uh, for example, hit one nail gun to uh, be able to collect that ammo box. This was a mystic fight, especially for uh, Agent losing almost all his stack. And now uh, Pepco wow, hurts himself. Wow, what a And then I And what? <laughs> but yeah, I don't see any proof anymore. <laughs> like Agent keeps hitting those rails. Stop watch. Agent is listening to our stream. <laughs> he just used that one nail gun <laughs> on that mega health. <laughs> Kill the overstack, but uh, then again, this is another option how to get uh, those uh, hooks uh, faster for Athena. And basically, he's uh, picking up all the all the time shards right now because they are in a sync of uh, that uh, cycle. Wow, what a racket! Stop watch. Pepco basically went from the ghost walk directly into the racket file by agent. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a live light. Only a home. All that health, when you spawn no armor. Those shotguns are really deceiving. Yeah, the starting shotgun uh, did more work than the super shotgun range. Oh, but the tribal is uh, pretty nice. From down below, and still, uh, is it like, is it like, uh, no, he have LG as well, but a lot of tribal use over there. And a 
in general to this map, for sure, right now. Yeah, Pepco didn't really uh, amount to anything uh, the last four minutes. Yeah. There was not enough pressure on that uh, major items. That would, that would complicate the situation of Agent. Agent was basically picking up everything. If you look on the scoreboard, it's it's crazy display. Uh, how much uh, items did he did he pick up? 14 heavy armors, 12 mega health. This is crazy. There's like 500 damage healed by Agent more. But that start for Pepco was quite, kind of nice. But then Agent grabbed the stronghold over the arena. Let's see, and we go to Awoken where Agent is playing Doom. Pepco is playing BJ. Yeah, and I'm wondering if Epco will be able to use the dual wheel to catch Doom of Guard. Because that mobility is again on uh, side for uh, Agent. This is like common team between tho those two arenas. Because Athena have uh, supreme mobility. Doom with double jump can cut the corners. And... We will see. Pepco is ready for some decent swim. So we are starting with agent this time. Uh, yeah. Or, uh, yeah. Sure. Okay. Let's, uh, Prepare to fight. Give the men some screen time. And I think that with Doom you can do some uh, crazy stuff uh, right from the start. One. If you activate it, Berserk and go. Sure. Like this crazy. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> but still, there is a gap between t those major items, and if uh, somehow. Uh, Agent managed to get into position for Mega. He should be able to uh, take uh, full control. Yeah, but he, ha he has to deal with a lightning gun probably, so it will be a dangerous Eww. position. Yeah, this is why he's oh, slowly but he's moving. Sneaking? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. oh, I think Pepco could have attacked with the double lightning gun. Yeah, I think that he uh, risking his plan after that initial rocket uh, towards Banana, it was 70 damage. And Pepco is hurting, and that heavy armor is still up. It's kind of baiting. Yeah. <laughs> and Pepco don't want to be baited. But now that the cycle is completely different, so we are moving from heavy to mega, which is more complicated for uh, most of the champions. But the Doom should be uh, that uh, edge for Agent that will allow him to seize that control or basically get back to control if something uh, will go wrong for him this is like uh, after that initial skirmish it's, it's kind of slow down nobody want to lose that initial frag nice rail from agent and free damage for him and pepco is now cornered Jin is trying to find him. And... Wow, so much damage with the dual wield. Yeah, I redid the predictions so you guys have to get to the boat. But now Agent is uh, put out of position. So Pepco have a chance to uh, get that uh, heavy armor. But he's not going there, finally now. But it's uh, late because now both major items are in sync and uh, Agent could kind of choose where he would be for the next uh, rotation. Nice rail from Agent. Some snowballs flying into the tribal hallway. Winter is coming. Stop watch. 
So I just need, need some armor. I really like that. Sorry, sorry, go ahead, Rob. No, <laughs> no, they were extinction tribal <laughs> shots. <laughs> it was just uh, funny to see. Yeah. It was really uh, interesting when Agent was stay staying uh, close to that Mega that he didn't move uh, a bit. But Pepco was hitting exactly the same spot. He was not uh, changing the direction of his racket. Even though he was probably quite sure that uh, Agent is over there. He didn't try to uh, hit some different area over there. So all Agent need to do was that uh, coolers dodge. Stay on the location and don't move. I find it interesting how Agent uh, uses the rocket sometimes. He, he he goes for a direct instead of shooting at uh, the feet. And... and... Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Pepco out of that! <laughs> but, but there are many times that he hits those directs. Yeah. Because he's a professional agent. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> he's trained for that. Oh, but a patient uh, agent could shoot faster with that rocket, but he patiently waited before that uh, BJ landed and he was sure uh, to hit that rocket. Nice rail from up above. Ah, yeah, sure. That's uh, good. That goes up some screen time. So we are watching Pepco right now, waiting for heavy armor. Agent is nowhere to be seen. Finally, LG to LG battle. Oh, oh, oh what a LG! And Agent was right on time uh, for uh, for that uh, heavy. Now Pepco is kind of different, uh, dif difficult position for him now with the dual wheel. He's trying to chase for Mega, and he will succeed. It. Nice. Thirty six health left. Oh, and he will die. No, oh, no oh. He's <laughs> he survives, but without the Mega help. Yeah. So he's practically dead, and uh, yeah, Agent will have an easy time collecting both items. Luckily, Pepco get. To angle at least to try to do some damage over there on the heavy armor, but that racket was short. And Pepco is again chased away from major items and for from all areas of interest. Nice rail from uh, Pepco as he's backing up to LG. Time to die. Wow, what a, what a, what a, I think. Oh, and rail, amazing. Don't pep go. Oh, but he oh, just did not But that answer. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't think uh, Agent was uh, readable anyway. Yeah, and for the start of that battle, uh, Pepco was really lucky to... Uh, maybe he hear uh, that Agent was around. But uh, he basically started uh, dual wield as uh, Agent was jumping down. So he used full potential of that ability. Useless Jerry. But... Uh, Scores are changing quite fast when we are talking about about the, uh, that uh, low score game we are watching right now on Evoken. Pepco just need one frag and possible respawn. We'll oh, see we'll nice! And, and, and he gets the LG ammo from uh, Agent that he didn't have. So nice. There is, a, there is one ammo box behind the corner. Yeah. Full, full uh, magazine for uh, Pepco. So, Agent slowing down, losing out on both items. Pepco uh, stacked to the teeth. And almost I got every weapon in this air somewhere. Yeah, I got confused with that uh, nail gun in hands of Pepco. And I was like, why is he using LG to uh, jump up? There are so many models for those guns, so... Uh, is Agent without a real gun right now? 
Uh, well, not, not anymore. <laughs> yeah, he just picked it up. Yeah. But I'm going back to Pepco. As his stack is supreme like right now. Super supreme. Yeah, it can be better. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. now that trail will change it a bit. But there is heavy waiting for uh, Pepco in two seconds, so... Yo, Borky. It will be fine. <laughs> Again, I think that Pepco maybe could be a bit more aggressive with that overstack. Nice, Dual LG will push uh, Agent to Tribolt and LG. And Pepco is uh, right on time, back for Mega Health, cutting that way from Agent. But Agent is kind of happy, he found uh, that uh, shield at LG. And Pepco is trying to find some more damage and uh, exchange of that damage before picking up that major item and agent is waiting he's holding that uh, entrance of rocket launcher with tribal what a racket from uh, agent one minute warning <laughs> Bebko thought about it oh he's walking away let's go and then oh no he's back yeah, but Wizard Berzer, he was super fast, so Pepco didn't uh, manage to switch. Oh, nice damage. Not nice though. racket. Yeah. yeah. It almost... Uh... Oh, it, it is equalizing the stacks. Like, Pepco has more armor now. Make it a little bit more health. Yeah, Pepco was a bit slow of moving uh, forward after he jumped down. So Agent gets an escape. That racket from Agent that was crazy. Ah, what? Fuck. Get on your way, Pepco. No, he... he oh, woohoo, <laughs> Like, I was scared. He, he gave an angle. Yeah, this is it. Oh, he, he, he does hit a full on rocket. Also does some self damage. Oh, the you double back is uh, yeah, a death trap though. But for for him there were no no uh, escape route ready because he was kind of trapped on that banana from uh, positioning of agent. It's funny that agent get uh, back to full stack right before the uh, time limit hits. But I really like how how uh, Pepco played that uh, BJ. Yeah, you like BJ's. Yep. I like to play BJ on uh, Corrupted Keep, for example, as well. Feel strong over there. If you manage to get LG, obviously. But th th this game was much uh, more s slow than uh, what we saw in uh, on Black Covenant. I really enjoy it. So we are going to Molten Falls right now. Pepcon, Galina, Agent with Aizen. I kind of like Galina more, to be honest. On Molten Falls. Yeah. Although, yeah, uh, Eisen is also nice to just use as an as a radar, like uh, just mm -hmm. put it yeah. on a spot. Um, yeah, for example, the portal exit in the big open area, and then mm -hmm. you only have to cover uh, the other exits when you wait on the heavy. And with that new improved turret, there is chance that we will do uh, quite some damage over there. Round begins in. 
Spot fight. He put that to red value, told him. Good job. <laughs> Wow, that was really brave to go, go down. But Agent is now shooting so much damage with those rail guns. And Pepco was chased away by Timmy and the rails again. Uh -oh. Stop watch. The take on on a rail gun. Um, this is uh, Tobias, the twin brother of the Yeah, no, they are hard to tell apart. Ooh, great rockets from Pepco. Oh, but he actually lost his target mid fight, and the agent appears behind him. But it was really close, those 3 HP, but still it counts. But now uh, Pepco is back, trying to finish the deal. Agent <laughs> escapes. Oh, um, what DF. Pepco yeah, is, is just uh, not converting these frags. Like, th that fight on the railgun was actually really messy for both players that were flying around. Jumping. And I think that Pepco could have it, but... Probably in other dimension. Or reality. Agent <laughs> shooting uh, a totem. That was just planted. <laughs> Funny, he did self damage, but not enough. I yeah. And I'm really surprised by uh, Agent's play that uh, he's basically staying on that uh, heavy armor area quite a long time. He just peeked to Mega, and he's. Okay, now it's uh, on clear duty. Yeah. Yeah, but what? Did you see what Pepco was doing? Like he he was contemplating uh, to go to the heavy. So I I do think Agent is a, a bit messing with his mind. Like ju just make uh, make it clear that uh, that he's going to the mega health. Then Pepco thinks to himself, okay, then I go to the heavy, and then Agent does the double back. Yeah, I think that uh, Agent is still baiting that uh, railgun, because Pepco doesn't have that weapon, and for, for Agent, being in that position without uh, Pepco having that uh, weapon, he feels kind of safe. There is nothing that can surprise him from uh, far, far away. So, if Pepco wants to do something, he needs to go uh, close. This is actually for, for the first time in long, long time where I see that uh, one player is really trying to deny that uh, railgun from his opponent. Now Pepco will finally have it, but uh, there is four minutes down from the time limit and also for frag advantage. So now let's see if Agent managed to get that weapon from his opponent. There is Totem waiting for him on the exit of the teleporter. Both players are waiting for that heavy armor. Agent will make a lot of uh, pace for himself to pick up that uh, major item. Rails are exchanged but uh, both flies around its marks. And again, Agent is really just just speaking to that mega health. He never overextend to that position uh, where How many that. Uh, did we get two? Seven for Pepco. But yeah, with, with the heavy, it's the other way around. Ah. 
Those totems that are there from start of the game might be uh, saving grace for Pepco if he managed to get to overstack. And again, I just just peek over here. He will now pick up those uh, bubbles and go back to railgun and heavy armor. Oh. Pepco walks around the corner and uh, eats uh, almost three rockets. Yeah, and Pepco now have overstack, so uh, now that uh, readings from Agent might be a uh, bit blurred. <laughs> Finally, clearing, clearing duty will remove those uh, pesky totems down below. And Agent find himself on the opposite part of the arena. Destroying all the infrastructure from Galina. Building his own. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. 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 Insane fight. Uh, yeah, now he gets his third mega health. Pepco is helping Agent to run away through that hole. Oh, where did the web come from? It leaves. Where did it go? It's here. We are losing overlay, slow, uh, like bit by bit. Amazing player from Agent. Throw the destruction in the form of uh, Tourette. Yeah. yeah, he definitely has a bit of a, of a coarse aim, but but as soon as Pepco is flying through the air, he, he isn't. He just knows where he needs to plant his uh, for a guaranteed hit. And I really love the switch of Agent uh, in, in that fight. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to the land of totems, but there, there will be uh, Timmy again. And Pepco made it to the scoreboard after 7 minutes, so... Also much rocket damage from uh, Agent, but in the end Pepco will manage to uh, finish him with that LG at the second track. Russian rocket jump again. No need to confuse so it will be Yeah, and it worked. Our enemies. Four track to go. I think that it can be done. But Pepco is waiting uh, on that shield. But it took so much time from him. But then shooting Tobias to give a hint. I, I, I did not rocket jump. One minute warning. This is a really interesting place where Agent is uh, killing the time on the central part of Arena. Do not die yet. Stop watch. But I think that Pepco now knows that uh, he won't be able to get any map in this match. Uh, it was basically it was tactical victory from uh, agent because uh, he held that uh, heavy armor uh, slash rail uh, part of arena for five or six minutes and 
You can see it on the on the, the scoreboard as well. You win. You lose. How much difference on the railgun damage and shoots? 16 versus 38. Come on. And the damage difference. So Pepco did wasn't allowed to get on that uh, on that weapon. And it was great great display of uh, tactics by agent.